found some cool cars to add to the collection. Uh, also, I moved all the bone shakers. They were over here. I moved them to the center one. And you can see I got a lot of empty spaces here. I've got a lot of empty spaces here that I gotta fill in. So I'm always, always on the lookout for new bone shakers, ones that I don't have. Um, speaking of bone shakers, we're gonna talk about the cousin to the bone shaker. After we go through all these cars here that I found. Oh, check this out. So this guy right here, that monster truck bone shaker right there, the glow in the dark one. Yeah, my dad got that for me. Cause my dad's cool. You all wish your dad was as cool as mine. But let's get this camera turned around so we can go over these cars that I have found, bought, collected, been given, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna talk about the cousin to the bone shaker. All right, down. guys, there's a lot of cars here. I'm gonna try and get through this fast, so this isn't like an extremely long video. The Batman, the new Batmobile. Um, honestly, I saw the movie, and the only thing good in the movie is the Batmobile. I was not impressed with the movie itself, but the Batmobile, very cool. So I got the premium version of the of the Batmobile, and this is the, the latest, this is the the oldest got the premium version of the tv series batmobile very cool so i found those grabbed them picked them up real quick because you know batmobiles and i like the batmobile so check this out i found this set right here which i think is very cool this porsche oh amazing but the nice thing about these sets and let's look at them individually is they're all fully detailed I mean you get the and I love it when they do the rear taillights on a Mustang it just makes the car look so much better so many hot so many Mustang Hot Wheels that they didn't do the tail lights and it just I don't know it doesn't make the car look right so, but this one is very nice absolutely love it the 2020 Shelby GT 500 very cool very cool love it love it love it in this set i'm gonna you know as i go through these i'm gonna set them over to the side over here okay here we got the Mc, uh, the mclaren p1 again fully detailed you got the front is done i like it in this orange the rear is done just make out the tail lights right there yeah and i like the card art I think they did a good job with this. Yeah, I like this a lot. This whole set, I like. Of course, I'm very fond of the Porsche, but man, look at this Acura. The NSX. This is the uh, the underrated supercar, if you ask me. Um, yeah, I, I definitely say this is a supercar and I think it's underrated. Um, but again, all the detailing is done. Tail lights, you got the Acura symbol there. I love the, I just love the livery of all these cars actually. Very cool. Very cool, very cool. And then we have, of course, my favorite in the set. 71 Porsche 911. I love this cast. And that card art. Ugh. You can't go wrong with a yellow Porsche. You just can't. I like the livery. Uh, they put this dot on the green, the, the one that was in the British Racing Green Porsche. They did that same dot on it. Is it the same? Uh, let me see, it's up there. Where is that car? What are you over here? So it's not really the same, but you know, it's close. But I like the fact that they got headlights done on this. You know, obviously, I mean, they're not the same cast. These are, this is, di these are different year model Porsches. This is the Carrera, but, ooh, bumping the camera. Yeah, really digging this Porsche. And of course, uh, there were multiples there. I actually grabbed a whole, I have two sets of this because I grabbed a set for the Mustang Hunter, but I was watching his, his recent video and uh, he found this set. So I guess I don't need to send it to him. You know, unless he reaches out and says he actually wants it. 
uh, I, I got it for him. So, but now I have two sets, um, but I grabbed like three of the Porsches so that I could have one to open and stick in the display case. So I have three of these Porsches. Um, and then last but not least, we've got the Koenigsegg Jesko. And this is very well done. Of all of the Koenigseggs that, uh, that I've picked up, you know, the different colors, the black, you know, the charcoal gray or silver or whatever, all the different ones, this one's the best. This one is the best. I love that the, the front diffuser, the side skirts and the rear diffusers, that different color. Um, yeah, this one is just, this is the best of all the Koenigseggs. This, this livery and this color on this car and the way this looks makes me like it. Cause the other Koenigseggs I was kind of, I was kind of disappointed in actually. But this one right here, man, this really stepped the game up for this car, for this cast. So yeah, Koenigsegg. So I found that set. Let's set that off to the side here. Um, let's look at these right here. So I went to the cubby hole. Um, and I went to the cubby hole specifically looking for bone shakers. Cause I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to get as many of the bone shakers as I can, all the different variations of it. And there's like 150 or more, you know, different variations of the bone shaker. And I know some of them I'm never gonna get because they're just not gonna get them. But uh, check it out. I found two more of the first editions. Now, um, after I posted a video and then, and then I was I was educated f even further on the first edition bone shaker. So there's two different uh, two different variations of the black one. And then the black one is the one that came out first. This one came out second. I mean I know they're both first editions, but this was the first release. Now the black one it came obviously with these wheels and then it came with the FTEs. I don't have, obviously I don't have the one with the FTEs, but I found this one. So this is the second one of these I have. And this is the second one of these I have. Now there's four, there's four variations to this car right here. Um, so yeah, good luck, right? But there's four different, there's four different wheels on this. And somebody said there's a card variation for this one too. But I don't know, I haven't seen anything other than, you know, just this one person telling me that there was a card variation for this. I'm sure he's right. I just haven't seen it. So I don't know what the card looks like that I'd be looking for. But yeah, there's four different wheel variations for this one. So I got these two and I'm gonna open them. Um, I'm gonna open them and they're gonna go in the display case so that they can be on display with the other bone shakers. Um, the other two that I have, they're gonna stay in their, pla their protective cases and they're gonna continue to... Actually, I, I hung all of my super treasure hunts and like special cars over, over on the wall over there. So maybe I'll flip the camera around and show you, but they're all hanging over there. Anyway, these are going to get opened. They're going in the display. But while I was there, picked up this Ferrari 250 in yellow. And you know, I'm going to grab Ferraris when I find them because well, we're not gonna see Hot Wheels make Ferrari. I don't think we're gonna see it ever again, actually. Um, you never know though. It could happen, but it won't be at least until I think, I think the contract that they have with Maesto is up, out until like 2027, would be the soonest in which we would be able to see Hot Wheels make, you know, start casting these again. So, but, so I grabbed this one, Ferrari 250. Very cool, and I'm not sure when this one was released. Uh, 94, so this would be coming, this would come out in 95. So I grabbed that one, but check this out. Found 2001 first edition Ferrari 156. That thing is cool. It's very little, but it's cool. It's all metal cast. I mean, <laughs> had to grab it. First edition Ferrari. Love, love, love it. So I grabbed, so I picked those up. I picked the, these two Ferraris up while I was at the cubby hole. And then I picked up this Porsche. Because I think it's cool. It has the gritty livery on it. 
it's a Porsche, there you go, it's a Porsche 962. Um, I have another casting of this. I'd like to get that Porsche. That's cool, that Momo livery with the whale tail. That would be cool to have. So with that one. Man, I gotta find, I gotta find those two cars. But found this one, grabbed it. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna pull this one out of the case. You know, it's car culture. 2016, so 2017 car culture. I don't know if I'm gonna actually pull this one out of the blister. I might let this sit in the blister for a minute. Um, or, you know, I might get impatient and pull it out and put it in the case because that's kind of what I do. All right. Let's go on to these car cultures right here. So check this out. Got the two Corvettes, got the Chase, the black Chase, and then the regular. Um, it's kind of hard to appreciate the Chase car in all this plastic, you know, with the way they got the extra protection in there for it. Um, man, you really just can't, you can't see or make out the car not like you can with this one. See how easy you can see the... Anyhow, found the chase. Thought that was pretty cool. I didn't grab this whole set because the whole set wasn't speaking to me. You know, if you look, the, the Tesla and the Bronco, these two just, they weren't speaking to me. Normally I grab like an entire set, but I left these two behind. But man, this Chevelle SS looks really good. I love the wheels on it. I like the stance on it. This just looks really good. Full detail. Can't go wrong with premium cars. I just really like that. Really liked how that looked. And then I picked up, up the Dodge Charger Hellcat. Um, and the reason why I picked up, because normally I don't know that I would have grabbed this, the Hellcat, but it's the right color. It is the right color. You know, this is what you expect a Dodge Hellcat to look like, the color to be like, you know, to have the black. Um, yeah, just talk to me, because I was like, you know what, that's, that's a classic. You know, 15, 20 years from now, this is a classic right here, color and all. So I grabbed it, I grabbed that. That's, that, those are the car cultures that I picked up. Now I was talking to, actually a while back, I was talking to Kevin Moss and he had explained to me, Kevin's a good dude too. He's very not like he knows Hot Wheels. And I was talking to him because I also grabbed a bunch of these Hot Wheels Boulevards. And he told me that the Boulevards are exclusive to Walmart. I didn't know that. So now I know from now on when I'm looking for Boulevards, they're gonna show up at Walmart and that's where I'm gonna find them. But uh, I grabbed this, there's a set obviously, even though they're also individually numbered, you know, I was able to get all four, all, I mean all five of these cars, starting with this Volkswagen Bug. Um, I like it, I like everything about it, I like the wheels, I like the stance, I like the color, I like that it's two-toned. I mean, you just can't go wrong with a with the classic Beetle. I guess in every car that's in this, in this set that I picked up, I, I actually, I love, I like a lot. You know, this Pontiac GTO, I mean, look at this thing. Again, look at the stance and those wheels. It's just evil, love it. Detailing in the back, the front, look at that front end. That is just for, for what it is, for the size that it is, and you know, the fact that you can pick this thing up for three bucks. The detailing on this car is just, it's amazing. Yeah, that, absolutely love that. Now check this out. It's a Superbird. You know, you got the Roadrunner decal right there in the back. This is really well done. Again, you got all the detailing, tail lights, the wheel riders, the wheels are perfect for it. This, I mean, this car is nice. Absolutely love it. Again, like I said, I like, I like all the cars in here. Um, 
DMC DeLorean. You know, it's funny, every time I come across or see DeLoreans, I think of Rapid Nismo. I mean, everybody loves the DeLorean, but for some reason, you know, the way he talks about DeLoreans and his passion for them, uh, you know, every time I see a DeLorean, I think of Rapid. But yeah, so I grabbed this. It's very cool. I like that it's bare metal. You know, kind of has, has a Zaymac look to it. But uh, again, very nicely done, all detailed out. Absolutely love it. And then last but not least, Chevy Nova. Now, I was told, the legend goes, I don't know if it's a legend or not, but this car, the Chevy Nova, was also sold in Mexico. But they changed the name because in Mexico, Nova means no-go. And so they weren't going to sell a car called the Chevy No-Go. So they changed the name. So in Mexico, the Chevy Nova is called something different. I'm not sure what that's called, what the name of it is called in Mexico. But yeah, this looks good. Love the body kit. Love the wide body kit on this. It, it just looks, it looks like a, like a drag car, like a street car, you know, something on Saturday night, you're going to find racing light to light, you know, very cool. Very, very cool. So got those. we talked about that. We talked about those. Let's scoot those on over. So check this out. I was able to find the formula drift Mustangs, you know, you got the 2021 and the 2020 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5. Now this was Von Gittin Jr.'s drift car, but uh, he, Von Gittin Jr.'s retired from uh, from drifting. Well, we'll see. He said he's retired from drifting um, he, for now. He keeps toying with this hole. He, he might come back. Looks like I got a little piece of hair there. So, but that was the fun haver, the Von Gittin Jr. Now he's sponsored by Monster Energy Drink and you would see that Monster Energy uh, logo on the door right there. And you would see it where it says fun haver on his actual car, it's a big Monster Energy there. Now, Adam LZ, I don't know, that's not Adam's car. This is uh, the other guy and I can't remember his name, but Adam LZ, is now with the RTR drift team and uh, they just revealed his car. In fact, he just did his first formula drift in San Diego uh, just this last weekend. And um, he did all right. I mean, he didn't win it. I think he, I think he was ninth overall, but uh, yeah, Adam LZ is the new, is the new driver for RTR in the drift series. And it looks good happy to find this yeah real happy to find that right, let's get this over here out of the way came across this the truck set absolutely love it I love that that's moon eyes because I think eventually I don't even think I know I am gonna open this I'm gonna pull all those vehicles out of there because I want that backdrop for pictures down the road so I can set cars here and, and, and get good pictures of them but I like that it's Moon Eyes because all of the different Moon Eyes cars I have will will go together with this with this hauler. Really, really nice. Um, digging the '62 Chevy. I think all the '62s look good. So yeah, very cool. It's a little red right there, and then this four-wheel drive looks like something uh, the Fall Guy would drive. <laughs> anyway. Very cool, found this diorama set. Uh, I like it, I like it. I really like my favorite, my favorite of this is the hauler. You know, it's not even these three. I mean, this one's cool, but that hauler is my favorite. So you guys can tell me uh, which one's your favorite. Maybe it's the little red, but I was able to grab that. All right, so let's talk about the Bone Shaker's cousin. I've seen it pop up. I've seen it pop up a couple times in other videos. Um, I only have three. Now this car, this cast was only released five times. Let me show it to you. 
it is the bone speeder. So the bone speeder is the cousin to the bone shaker. And uh, I love it. I think this thing looks really cool. Absolutely amazing. Now I have to be honest with you, I was gifted this one. This one was sent to me as a gift. Um, thank you very much for that. And when it showed up and this, it, it was it was sent to me a while ago. I wanna say maybe six months ago. I've had this for, for a while. But I wasn't finding any other of this car. Well then I was, I was at the uh, speed shop in in Mesa, um, and I was going. He had a he has a a, a big tub full of, of loose cars that um, you know he was selling for like fifty cents. And so then I found so there's that one, and I found this in there. It's another bone speeder. It's the glow in the dark bone speeder. So. Also, cool. It's cool because it's a bone speeder. Um, and and now, and when I researched it and found out more about this cast, uh, it makes it even cooler. Because, like I said, there's only been five five releases of this car. Now, there's another Hot Wheels race team livery, but it's red. And I recently saw that the Mustang Hunter had gotten the red Hot Wheels Race Team livery bone speeder. So there's this blue one, there's the red one, there's this one, and then there's a gold one. So I don't have the gold one, and then recently, I don't have the gold and I don't have the red. So you know I'm gonna be looking for them. I'm gonna be looking for the red uh, Hot Wheels Race Team, and I'm gonna look for the gold one. But recently, they just released in the Super Rigs, the Rat Rig, and I saw this on, on Hewitt's Hot Wheels. Hewitt's picked this up, and I was like, man, that's cool. I went to Walmart and found one. It was like, I walked up and I said, I just saw that. Like, I literally, I watched Hewitt's video. I went to Walmart, found it, bought it, and then, uh, and then I commented on his on his channel. I'm like, I just picked this up. So there you go. There's the bone speeder with the rigs, and there's the rat rig. I don't know, I don't know if they call this a rat rig. Yeah, it's got to be the rat rig, and then the bone speeder that goes with it. And this rat rig is dope. It is so cool. Got the skull there on the front. You know, I I probably shouldn't open this, but I'm going to. This is going to be opened. So, to talk more about the Bone Speeder and its origins, um, we all know that Larry Wood, he is the one who designed the Bone Shaker. Well, the designer of the Bone Speeder, he actually came out and said this is the cousin to the Bone Shaker. And, uh, and man, I wish they would just, I wish they would have released more castings or more variations of of this car because uh, the guy who designed this and he came out in 2016 2016 maybe it was 2015 okay yeah so it's 2015 but Ryu Asada is who designed the bone speeder and I think it would be cool if Hot Wheels made the bone speeder a part of the Ryu rides that's being released that would be dope that would be cool I don't know why I'm saying dope lately it's Maybe I'm hanging out with too many young young kids, you know, with this whole coaching soccer, but whatever. Uh, that would be very cool for if they were if this if this came out as part of the reuse rides. Because honestly, I think this is one of reuse cooler designs. He's designed a lot of cool cars, a lot of cool cars. But man, in my opinion, uh, this one is up there. This has got to easily be a top five for him. But uh, yeah, it's only been released five times. And I have three of the five. Because there, you know, there's those two, this one. So I got to find the red one and I got to find the gold one. But on that note, let's make this the photo montage and wrap up this video. Here we go. Photo montage. Like on this. Dime si tú quieres algo más. 
Dime si tú necesitas algo dulce para calmar esta noche. Va a ser lo Esta noche va a ser la mejor de tu vida. Dime si te quieres acostar. Dime si tú quieres que yo haga algo con tu mar esta noche. Estoy un anía.